this week I'm doing things a little bit differently. I was able to go to the Tech Museum of Innovation in San Jose, courtesy of my mom for being nice enough to buy me a membership. Thanks for that. And I figured, you know what, let me give you guys my opinions on it as a science center. So let's dive in. So first of all, like I said in the intro, but I'm going to disclaimer it, opinions are 100% my own. Thanks to my mom for being nice enough to buy me a membership to the tech as it's not crazy cheap, but it is somewhere that's kind of interesting. So disclaimers aside, let's dive in. I do have to say that, that while there were some things that were definitely missing and not working right at the tech, which was a bit of a letdown, it was still actually fairly interesting to go there. It's this really cool air floating chair thing. The way it worked is you sat in it almost kind of like in this recliner position and you had a joystick that did left and right and you had a joystick that did front and back. And the way it worked is it was literally lifted off the ground on air like these three air pads and then it had air ducts that blew air to move you left and right forwards and backwards and it was actually really cool for me to ride on the thing. And there's these fake satellite component things in the ceiling and there's a flashlight that you're trying to like hit the beam spot on the light. And I remember doing it as a kid and like not being able to get, maybe I got one within like the minute time frame. So when I got to do it, it took me a second to get used to the controls, but what I was ended up doing and it worked to my benefit was instead of just going forwards, right, what I'd do is I'd kind of get it going, then I'd kick the back end around to kind of do things. It was really cool actually being able to do that. And I was able to knock out like three or four of the targets. So it was really interesting. So in the first part of the video, you're going to see it from my mom's perspective. And I'm sorry if it's really dark, guys. That portion of the building was super dark, so I'll see if I can digitally lighten it. Sorry if the quality is not going to be the best because of that. And then in part two, I'm going to be showing you guys actually my view from a different run that I did where I got a little bit nervous on camera and knocked out two of the targets, but it still gives you an idea of what it was like. And it's not as easy as it looks. Some of the sensors are a little bit weak, if you will, and are kind of hard to make them happy. And it's a very pinpoint thing at that, but it was still actually really enjoyable to do.
So in, in, in the last part, on the third floor, they used to have like these electronic circuits that I loved, a roller coaster simulator, some other stuff. Sadly, that wasn't there anymore, which was a bit of a bummer. The area at the roller coaster and the circuit stuff was closed for construction, so interested to see the time frame for when that's going to open up and all that stuff. It had like some VR area, but that's not really something I'm all that interested in. I'm, kind of dizzy doing it so I didn't do it but one thing that was cool that I remember from when I was a kid was they actually had this robot arm that would spell out your name in little like wooden kids blocks and they had another robot arm that would literally like draw your photo kind of like all those videos of robot arm Picasso thingies that was kind of cool the only bummer with the robot arm that drew your face was it wasn't really working and originally it would take a photo of you and it would use that, but something seemed kind of off with the software, so it just kept on spitting out the same image, which was, that was a little bit of a letdown because I was dying to do it. I was like kneeling on the floor, holding the GoPro, holding the coin, and yeah, it didn't work out. So, oh well, you know, it was still cool to see it, and I guess I'll conclude the video on that part. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Make It With Calvin. I understand it's a bit different than what's normally what I'm doing, but I figured I'd try something a little new here. And if you guys found this interesting, please let me know, as I do kind of have a soft spot for tech museums and science centers and things like that, just because of the influence they did have in my life growing up with science fair projects and things like that. So if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Um, I'm probably going to be going back to the tech a couple more times, especially over the summer, being that I now have the membership, which is a perk. So if you guys, you know, want to see more stuff from over there or just things in general like that, let me know because I'd love to help inspire the next generation of kids working on things to build things as I feel like we've just become a society of makers to a society of consumers and I want to try and make us in my little own way, back to a society of people who actually make things or at least understand what goes into making it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.